Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. We're so happy you're back with us. We have about 800 subscribers now, so thank you to all of our subscribers out there. Today we're going to talk about a very important purchase we made pretty soon after we moved into our new construction home, and that was our washer and dryer set, which is the Samsung 6100 series. So first let's talk about what we were looking for in a washer and dryer. And so first we wanted something that was modern, that had multiple settings so we could adjust it a lot better than traditional washers and dryers to what we were cleaning at the time. We wanted something that was a front loading machine and so we had top loaders and front loaders in the past but we came to prefer front loaders. And as long as you take care of it, any style you get is going to work for you but we wanted a front loader. So we also wanted something that was big enough for our needs but still small enough to fit in our laundry room because we do want to do some decor in here, do something with the shelving and so we needed it to be just the right size so we did measure which definitely make sure you do that so that it could fit in here and it's the perfect size for what we need in terms of space. The washer is 4.5 cubic feet and the dryer is 7.5 cubic feet. So you will notice with Samsung as you're researching their machines they categorize them based on those numbers. So we have the 6100 set and you may look at the 7100, 8100, but just make sure that the size you get is the actual size you want because those numbers can be a little confusing when you're comparing so many models. And so what we want to look at first is all the features of the washing machine. With the washing machine and the dryer, we decided to go with the champagne color and we really saw that it had a rosy finish online but we're happy that it was more of a neutral tone once it was delivered. So you get some of that champagne feel, but it's still neutral enough to do any level of decor that you want in the laundry room. So that's great. We're going to start with this black panel here on the right. And the power button is the first thing in the upper corner. You hear that nice little jingle when it turns on. And under that is your start and pause button. And so when you're ready to start the cycle, you would push that. If you have something to throw in at the last minute, you can hit that button as well to temporarily pause the cycle and throw in whatever you need to throw in. Here's where it will display how long the cycle is estimated to take, and it does adjust based on what it senses in the washing machine. Sometimes the time goes up or down. Here you have your pre-soak setting you can turn on. Delay in allows you to go out and run an errand or go to work and come back and your cycle will end right on time for you to throw it right into the dryer so that way it's not sitting in the washing machine having been washed for all those hours. You have your steam setting and when we look at the cycles the ones on the left will allow you to use the steam. That was a major reason why we decided on this set because steam is a great feature to have in a washer. And then here you can turn off the alarm and we'll show you the alarm in a little bit into the video but you can turn it on or off here. On your temperature, rinse, spin, and soil options, it gives you five variations. So that's really great to get it exactly where you want it for your temperature. You can rinse it as many times as you like, up to five. Your spin, you can set it to high or no spin at all. And your soil levels, light to heavy. And if you want to set it on child lock so your kids aren't messing with the settings, you can hold down these two buttons and it will activate child lock. Now we're going to look over to the left where you have all of the different cycles. So it's set to default as normal, which is your everyday setting, and we use that one a lot. As you turn it, you have quick wash, delicates, perm press, rinse and spin, and self-clean. And you'll hear that little ding every time you choose a cycle. Back on the left are all of your steam cycles and you'll see that little blue line there to let you know you can activate steam on these. You have normal, heavy duty, whites, bedding, and sanitize. With sanitize it will allow you to use steam and it runs it extremely hot so that way it can sanitize the items that are in there. Then to your left you also have the dispensers. So you have your liquid detergent here and you have your bleach here and then your fabric softener dispenser here. In terms of maintenance, we like to leave this drawer open and so that way after we're done washing, all of that moisture can escape and you see it's pretty dry in here because we leave it open and that helps with your day-to-day -day maintenance of your machine. Something else we like to do for maintenance is to leave the door open 
And so that is a big help for letting the moisture escape. And so you're not letting water sit in there and then it builds up mildew and odor and things like that. Leaving it open is a great tip for everyday maintenance. Now we're going to take a look at the dryer. A lot of the dryer settings are similar to the washing machine, which makes it really easy to learn how to use this set together. So you have your power button here, same little jingle plays. You have your start and pause button here. So the same thing, if you want to throw something in, in the middle of a cycle, or you just started and you forgot something, you can pause it here. As a typical washer is, you can open the door to do the same thing, but it's safer to use that pause button. If I have it set in time dry, I can then use these buttons to adjust the time. So it will let me adjust from 20 minutes up by 10 minutes all the way to 60. I can also do individual minutes through here, but then I can't go back and adjust it every 10 minutes. So that's a little quirk, but that's the way that the time settings work. You can use it by tens or individual minutes. Then you have a lot of variation here, just like the washing machine with the level of dryness, the temperature. And so if I want a really high temperature, I can achieve that. Or if it's something pretty delicate I'm drying, I can use the low setting here. You also can hold down these two buttons for child lock to prevent children from opening and closing the door or from messing with the settings. So that's a great feature that both machines have. We have our wrinkle prevent setting here. And something that's cool about this dryer is it has damp alert. And so when the cycle is about 80% complete, the clothes will alert you by saying, I'm damp. I'm damp. I'm damp. cycles over here. So we have time dry. You also have air fluff, which is great if you want things a little more fluffy, but you don't want all that additional heat. Back to quick dry, perm press, delicates. Then you go over to your left side where it's normal and we use that most of the time, just like the washer. Heavy duty, bedding, and these two settings are steam cycles. And so you have steam sanitize and refresh. Unfortunately, we're still working with Samsung to get our hose that we need to use the steam cycle because we really want to try that out with our dryer. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we get that hose soon and we can try those two steam settings on this dryer. And something you definitely want to do every time you're done drying is to empty your lint trap. So this is something that is crucial. You want to take it out and it opens pretty easily here always have this clean and free of lint. It's a fire hazard, but it's also a great way to maintain your dryer and make sure you don't build up lint there. You also want to make sure anything that has heavy buckles or zippers that you use a laundry bag so it's not knocking against your dryer and that can really shorten the life of your machine. So we've really enjoyed our Samsung 6100 series washer and dryer. It's been a great set. We've had zero problems with it and we enjoy using it from day to day for all of our laundry needs. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We're going to sign off with the jingle that the machines play. It's the longest in history, but we've learned to love it. And we're going to sign off with that jingle right now. Thanks for watching.